Skipping question 15 for the moment, we go to question 16, which is a local question. It gives us the new condition that the Yandels have the mill. So throw down your spaces and then put the M in place. This is going to immediately trigger rule three. The Yandels are full, which means that the trends need to get the stables. Now if we look at rule two, remember we have to keep M and F and I and F apart. If M is with the Yandels, it'll be apart from F, but I needs to be apart from F, and there are only two groups left. Since the Yandels are full, either the Trends or the Williamses will have to have I, and then the other one will have to have F, which means that we're going to fill in some spaces here, and that means the Trends need to have two spaces in order for them to hold one of the two, I and F, which means that the only thing left, the G, is going to go to the Williamses. With our sketch in order, we're going to go to the answer choices looking for something that must be true. And when we find what must be true, we're going to pick it and move on. Answer choice A says that the Trents own F, which could be true, but doesn't have to be. Answer choice B says that the Trents own I, which in the same way could be true, but doesn't have to be true. Answer choice C says that the Williamses have F, which could be true, but doesn't have to be true. All three answer choices so far have been about I and F, which we know are not pinned down. Of the two that are left, only one of them is not about I, and that is answer choice D, which says the Williamses own the granary. That's something we wrote definitely into our sketch. And E, well, that's about the Williamses having the N, which doesn't have to be true. So our answer is answer choice D.